here you have the three chemicals that are going to be used. First, we have the 3H. Color of it is lime green. Next, you have your 5L, a darker green, and then lastly, 34L, which is the red label. The difference is in the chemicals. Your 3H is going to be your neutral floor cleaner. You're going to place this chemical into your mop buckets and also into your scrubbers, floor scrubbers. The second chemical here, the 5L, is your restroom disinfectant cleaner. Also, your general purpose restroom disinfectant. Um, and then lastly here, you have the 34L, which is your hydrogen peroxide cleaner. Also serves as your general purpose cleaner. One of the differences that I want to point out is the H and the L's. H stands for high flow. High flow meaning that the chemical is going to be dispensed at three gallons a minute. Again, for filling up your mop buckets and auto scrubbers. The L stands for low flow. That's for filling up your spray bottles. It's going to be dispensed at one gallon a minute. You can tell that by the photos, as you see here in the 34L and the 5L, you have a picture of a spray bottle, and in the 3H, you have a picture of a mop bucket. Those are your three chemicals. So let's take a look at the dispenser. This hose right here is your water feed and quick disconnect. To activate the dispenser, you want to make sure that it's connected to the water and then the water's on. One little part that I want to point out is this little button right here. You push this lever, it's going to give you just water. Notice that there's no chemical in the dispenser. And if I, again, if I push this button, it's going to give me just water. This hose that I'm holding right here, it's going to be to fill up your spray bottles. If you'd like to remove the hose, all you got to do is turn it, pull it out. Again, to connect it, there's grooves. Slide it up, turn it, and you can start using it. There's also the bucket fill hose. As you see here, it's stored on the side. To use the bucket fill hose, all you have to do is slide it right under and through the smaller hose, locate the grooves, and turn it. This bucket fill hose is for you to fill up your mop buckets and also your auto scrubbers. To remove it, again, turn the hose, slide it under the spray bottle hose, and then store it right on the sides. Now let's talk about the chemicals. Here we have the 5L with the photo of the spray bottles. What you're going to do is that this little fob is going to be facing you the whole time. You want to go ahead and drop it into the dispenser and make sure that it falls into place. Now this bottle serves as a key. To activate the flow of water and chemical, all you have to do is turn the bottle automatically you have water and chemical be in the spent. To turn it off, all you have to do is turn the bottle and it's off. Be sure to remove the bottle when you're done. Very important. That was the 5L for filling up spray bottles, this little hose. Next I want to show you 3H. Again, the H with the picture of the mop buckets, your high flow for filling up your mop buckets and auto scrubbers. Again, the fob always facing you. Drop it into place. Make sure it's all the way down. And this is when you're going to want to use your bucket hose. Again, slide it right under your spray bottle hose. Locate the grooves and tighten it. All you have to do one more time, 
Let's turn the bottle once it's set into place. Automatically, the chemical is going to come out. Some of the things that you should avoid is squeezing the chemical when it's on. And I'll demonstrate. I'll turn the bottle to activate the flow of the chemical. If I squeeze here, you'll see. As you saw there, it was over diluting. Too much chemical was coming out. Which is why it's very important to turn the chemical on and take your hand off of it. When you're ready to turn it off, put your hands back on it and turn it off. Another, another function that you should avoid is when using the bucket hose, again, find the grooves, turn it, I'll turn the chemical on, as you see here, if I'm filling up an auto scrubber and I turn it like this, you'll see some foaming. The reason why it's foaming is because we're pinching the spray bottle hose that's below. So remember, when you see foaming, it's because this bottom little hose is being pinched. How to avoid that? All you need to do, take the spray bottle hose off, put on the bucket fill hose, and again, turn on your chemical. And without a problem, you're not going to foam. Lastly, when done, always take off your chemical. And that's a twisted fill dispenser.